What's going on guys, Lyrics and I'm back bringing you today another custom tactics video. This one's going to be doing updated custom tactics for the 442, which they've been trying to nerf all flipping year. Start off with a comeback on strikers, um, then the overload nerf, of course, um, for the best, but again, they'd make 442 a lot less viable. You won't really see many people using it nowadays. You see the custom tactics on YouTube videos, 4231, 4231, 4231, and we wonder why we're playing all these possession rats, man. Part of the bus, guys. But um, yeah, I found a way to um to make it viable. I haven't really played since the patch, but um, I did start off coming back to FIFA using 4231. Didn't go great for me. Went on to narrow the next week again. Didn't go great for me, and we're back in our home. And this is how we did it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna jump into the tactics now. Give me a sec. Right, so before we get into these tactics, I'm pretty much going to explain like why 442 kind of fell out the meta and why 4231 is a lot more viable defensively. Um, 442 is still amazing in attack, of course, probably even better with no overload anymore. But um, defensively is the issue and where we're going to pretty much struggle with this formation. So um, yeah, 4231, of course, it has your two CDMs and your cams. And in 442, you only have two sentiments, so obviously you're already outnumbered in that area. So um, yeah, you're pretty much going to have to rely on making a, a crazy play, a crazy read, some kind of tackle or something like that um, to be able to get it off the, the centre mids because, you know, 3v2, they're, they're going to be able to just rotate, rotate, recycle, um, pass in between each other until there's a space that opens up into the striker. So it's really hard to defend in. What I've always liked about defending in 4 2 is we play like a zone and it's really hard for them to break through different layers of the formation. So obviously you've got your two strikers, your four midfielders and your four defenders. Before coming back on strikers, it was literally unreal. Um, pretty much foolproof, amazing, rewards manual defending so much, but now it's way, way, way harder. And of course, um, nowhere near as viable as 43 on. So um, how you want to play it defensively is you kind of want to send them down wide towards their right back, towards their right mid, and pretty much like you shut off the option down the line. And when you do that, you push up on the right back and you either make a player switch to the striker, try and intercept the pass, or you try and make a tackle with the with your winger on the right mid, and that's pretty much how we're going to be forcing like the turnovers and how we're going to be getting the ball possession. But of course, if that doesn't work, if we're playing against someone that's really composed, you're kind of in that situation again when you have to make a play in the middle, which is a lot easier with these tactics, which I'm going to show you right now. Um, so first glance, you're going to be thinking, we're playing like rats. Not the case at all, not the case at all. Um, this is way harder than 4-2-3-1, a lot more manual, like I said before. Um, we haven't got the, the luxury of our strikers coming back anymore, so you are going to have to make plays. Um, but the principles kind of still stay the same. So, as I said, we're outnumbered in the middle, so we kind of need to force them down wide, which is the reason we're playing one width. And, um, yeah, so that, that free ball on the switch is going to be open a lot of the time, but a lot of the time also in weekend league going to be playing against people that are not really patient, so... As your middle is going to be covered pretty much, like overload ball side, um, if they're not patient enough to switch out to their wing backs, then you're going to be getting a lot of interceptions, a lot of tackles in the middle. But um, if you play a better player that is a lot more patient and is going to use the wing backs, then we're kind of in that situation again where we're good on the wing, but we're relying on our 1v1 defending. Like they're never going to be through on goal. Like whenever the ball gets switched, you need to switch onto your right back, you need to cover the line. And like I say, it's a 1v1 battle. Um, either send them backwards, make a tackle, whatever you want to do, depends how your defending playstyle is. But um, yeah, we're pretty much eliminating all of the, um, kind of like the overload in the middle. We're playing them, we're making them play down the wing, which you know a lot of people don't want to do. So um, yeah, that's the reason behind that. D the depth is still four, which is what I used earlier in the year. Still works amazing, I can press really well. Um, and of course we've got the deep back line when it comes to them being on our half. Um, I'm, ba I'm on balance. I haven't tried drop back this year. Um, the main reason for that is I don't want to lose the cracked out press that you get when the people keep the ball for too long as that's pretty much a free way of getting possession. So yeah, that's the reason for that. Um, I don't really mess with pressure on heavy touch or pressure on possession. I think it builds like really bad habits. Um, so that yeah, that's the reason for that. Offensive styles on balance. Um, hopefully you guys know by now how to attack in 4 2 but if not, what you're going to be looking for is um, a lot of triggering, triggering and calling players back down the line. Um, that's pretty much our bread and butter. And the main goal of the formation is pretty much pass it around and get the ball down the line eventually to a winger. Um, we'll beat the guy 1v1 outside or we're going to do a fake shot stop or something, come back inside, pass to our centre mids and we're going to go into the middle from there. So um, yeah, that is pretty much all there is to the formation, man. Um, really easy to use offensively but defensively is a lot more challenging you kind of got to stick with it 
Um, it's going to take a while. It's a lot more, like, like I say, man, a lot more harder than 4 2 3 one. I know a lot of us want to, like, skip to, like, I don't know what's easier. So we don't want to have no learning curve, I guess we call it, or, um, like, transition process. We just want what's easy, what's going to get us results now. But I'm telling you, man, 4 4 2 is a lot more, like, there's a lot more seeding on it, in my opinion. And um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Right, so into the instructions we go and yeah, if you watched any of my videos previously in the year, we're rocking pretty much the exact same thing, maybe with a tiny little change. Um, come back on striker still, even though it doesn't really work like it used to, um, having stay forward is pretty much just a detriment. You're going to have like a lot, a lot bigger gap between your centre mid and your strikers, so you may as well like keep the shape a little bit more. Come back on wingers also, this is a preference thing, you could use balance and I guess get a little bit better um, counter attacks but me personally I'd rather have more solid defence. Stay back on both centre mids and cover centre, the usual, the usual. Um, I know a few people that use balance on one centre mid, that's completely up to you, I haven't really played around with it but that's something that you guys could try. Um, I forgot to mention get into the box or cross, um, you know sometimes you burn the guy back post and you have a wide open RBX or double B cross. Um, so that's pretty much the reason for that and then stay back on the fullbacks of course and yeah that's pretty much it um, yeah nothing else to say um, give the tattoos a go man give them a go um, it's a lot different to the the usual 4-2-3-1 boring FIFA 20 style you know if you guys are using that you're part of the problem man so I don't want to hear no complaints about the game if you're rocking that um, it's going to be a lot harder of course it's going to be a lot more challenging but I tell you man, it's a lot more fun and a lot more like rewarding attacking, so yeah, give it a go, let me know what you think of it, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, apologies, I've been missing a while, I know, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, and apologies if it's a bit choppy, um, like I say, I haven't recorded a video in, in months, so yeah. I will catch you guys in the next one anyway, um, we do have top 100 rewards this weekend of course, you see I've got a 30 you know, so um, yeah, that will be coming tomorrow. Bundesliga, hopefully we get something good. Hopefully see you guys there. Peace. All my days, I almost forgot. If you're wondering why my hairline's fucked, I shaved my head. Enjoy. <laughs>